Welcome back to another video. Today I'm just gonna be showing y'all everything I've been using for salt water. Not salt water, fresh water fishing, bass fishing is really it. Fishing for catfish or anything really. So I built a good um tackle box to show y'all what I've been using. And also I'm gonna be showing y'all some of my personal favorite rods that are um not too expensive, but they're pretty good now um yeah, as a lot of y'all know or some that have been sticking to my channel for a while well maybe i'll stop posting due to health related issues but um i'm just gonna show y'all hop right into it so sorry guys. this is a tackle box i built for y'all guys sorry the angles all over there but um i love using these for a white weight spinning rod little Pink trick one with the. Uh, let's see if I get one. Nope, not a weightless hook. With just a weightless uh, five aught uh, EWG white belt worm hook. My favorite color is the pink couple or pink go pink bubble gum trick one. I use it for a lot. Clear water, murky water. Really, just works good for both and. I also love fishing with wacky rigs into the lily pads, into the weeds, or just out into the open with a little uh, weedless hook. You can't ever go wrong with wacky rigs. That's what I catch 90% of my bass on because the bass over here are picky. Now, I have some trailers for spinner baits, chatter baits, buzz baits, you know, all that good stuff I have on. I don't even remember what this color was. I just bought a whole bunch of them from. Uh, I think it was Yum. Got a whole pack of them. Yeah. So those are the only two colors of those I got. But I also got some Guggen uh, Crawdads. I think it's Junebug. I'm pretty sure. Or there might be a different name for it. I don't remember. I got these so long ago. Now for catfish and just trout. So I got these. I use a split shot above the... Uh, above these sorry but there's a whole bunch of hooks with them too but they're small hooks that are connected to a little leader um i use these to catch bluegill and what i do with the bluegill is i'll get a, a small circle hook for a small bluegill and you just put them right through there you then you want to add either an egg weight or a egg weight or a sinker and just put it on there and then just be sitting maybe foot on top cast it out you get a rod holder just poke it up on the dock and wait for your thing to go bouncing but i use bigger bobbits sometimes i use bobbits but not really because it attracts the turtles don't like bait i don't like that but i'll sometimes throw on a bobber but not a bigger bobber because these are light i just use these for the bluegill you never know when you need them. And here I just got some split shots of some egg weights and all that good stuff. Um, yeah, and I have some Mustad Aberdeen hooks in there that I use for many things. Now, the Abu Garcia Vengeance is one of my personal favorite bait casting combos. Um, I got this one for $100 on their website. Um, not crazy expensive, but man, it works so well, especially it handles big bass and catfish and all that stuff. But yeah, I use these for lily pads. I don't really use these in the spring. I mostly use these in the summertime. You cast it out right into the lily pads, let it drop to the water, bounce it a couple times. Or sometimes if there's a pond tucked around the woods that's a little shallow, not too deep, it'll get all those bass. Um... Then I have my Lose Rock Smash I got for $150. My, uh, this was a gift from my grandma, actually. Man, I love this one. This is my personal favorite, you know. Um, it has, and where's it at? Did I, okay, I, I'm either dumb or dumber. It has, oh my gosh. It has 
has an eight man it has eight bands. Meanwhile, this one only has five. So I don't know what you're paying the extra fifty dollars for, but um, they work a little bit. They're pretty much the same rod, different band. I'm like I'm being dead honest. If you wanna lose lock smash, but you don't wanna pay all the money for it, you just get an Abergrassi of Vengeance. They're literally the same rod, literally just different bands. It wouldn't surprise me if Lose and Abergrassi is the same company and they made this just so you can spend more money on that. I don't know. To be honest, Mock Smash, I don't think it's worth $150, but, you know. But all of these rods have in... Where's the lure rating? 3 eighths to 3 fourths ounces. Lime weight, 10 to 20 pounds. I use 8 pounds in the Crete. 8 pound monofilament. This is multicolored three on both of them. I'm going to show you all the rod I use. For this ultra train, I also use this.